If you are struggling knowing what to create, Kittle has a lot of latest addition to their AI toolkit, which is a nano banana. You can see how you are able to come up with some amazing designs and even go further than what you would originally would do just with a template. So in today's video, I wanna share with you how to access nano banana and side of Kittle and how that compares with all of the other AI models and how you can create amazing designs just within a few seconds with all of these amazing tools at your disposal. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. Kittle is where we're going to spend most of our time because they did just release Nano Banana and their AI models. And so we definitely want to put that to the test, see how that does with Dolly 3, how that does with Ideogram, Flux Pro, and of course, Nano Banana. So if you do want to get access to Kittle, I have a discount code down below to make it easier for you to start using Kittle and get access to all these AI models. If you do want to check out Kittle and start following the same process I am doing, make sure you check out my link down below. That also helps out this channel and help me produce more videos for you. So make sure you check out Kittle down in my description box below. All right, so Kittle does have some really great templates for you to use and to really get some design inspiration and to truly make things your own if you go in here and just change up the template. The cool thing about Kittle, however, is that they have more than just templates. That's a great place to start, but you can even go further with their many AI models they have right there with inside of Kittle. So if you do wanna use a template, we do have that here, but where I like to spend most of my time is going into their AI tools and to see all of the different versions of the latest AI models we can use for our design now in today's video again we're going to test this thing out because we have dolly 3 we have ideogram we have nano banana and just a lot of options when we're trying to create our ai designs and when you sign up with kittle a super easy way to get there is head over to the left hand side and in this little star button here, you're gonna see a new layout of all of the different AI models, which is gonna be where we're gonna spend most of our time today. And if I open up this menu here, you can see all of the different versions of the AI models here. Now, just be mindful, you are gonna be charged different amounts of credits and all AI models are going to have their own speed and their own versions of output. So just be mindful that when you are utilizing this, it is gonna take different amounts of credits and each of them are going to take a different amount of time to be done and you don't necessarily have all of the design styles afforded to all of them however if you are trying to utilize all the AI models in one place it's probably going to be one of the best options for you so that being said the main ones we're definitely going to look at today is obviously nano banana and to see how that stacks up against the other popular models like dolly 3 and ideogram version 3 so we're going to start off with Dolly 3 and we're going to try to recreate a fishing t-shirt that has a lot of text on it. And we're going to see what this does. Now, if you're using Dolly 3, that is going to struggle with text, but I still want to do it so you can see the results you're going to get if you are planning to use Dolly 3. And if you want access to all of my prompts, make sure you comment down below the word prompts and I'll be happy to send you over this list of all the prompts we used in today's video. Just simply comment down below the word prompt. So we're going to put in a prompt that I created. You can see our prompt is very long, very detailed, and definitely has some text in here as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit generate here again this is going to take about 15 seconds to create take about 20 credits here we're going to hit generate and we're going to see what we can gather as a result and this is what we were able to gather from dolly 3 again this is no surprise to me because dolly 3 really struggles with text you know we had a lot of text in our prompt but that didn't follow suit at all so again if you're thinking about creating anything t-shirt related and using a lot of text then dolly 3 is probably not going to be the best option for you when you're trying to do that so now we're going to go ahead and change out the ai model this time we're going to use ideogram version three ideogram has always been a go-to for me because the text is really well and you still get some pretty good quality and then if you're selling things like t-shirts or sweatshirts really anything print on demand having text in the product in my opinion is always good so let's go ahead and utilize the same prompt here this one's going to take about 10 seconds let's go ahead and generate and let's see what we can gather as a result all right, so that's what I'm talking about, right? This came out pretty well. Very different from what Dolly 3 was able to generate for us. You can see all the text that we have on this product here, this design that didn't show up at all in Dolly 3. And again, that's just something to be mindful of when you are creating a product with text designs, making sure you're using the right model is definitely going to be the thing you want to focus on. Nonetheless, Edelgram, in my opinion, did pretty well. I love how we have the text around the design here. It brought up the word Fisher in a nice type of artsy style with the font, and it definitely brought in the center of our design which is the fish i think that is perfect so one of the main popular ai models that just was recently released is nano banana so let's see how that matches up 
with ideal gram with what we have here dolly three and obviously we'll use the nano banana so we're going to utilize the same prompt again we're going to head over to the left hand side only thing we're going to do here is change the ai model that we're going to use and we're going to scroll all the way down to nano banana which again we can see all the data here it takes about 15 seconds and what i'm also looking for is are we going to get the text right and what type of art style are we going to pull from this design that's comparably different from what we gather with gram here so let's go ahead and generate this should move a little quicker than normal and let's see what we gather as a result Result. all right so here's the exact same prompt that we put in for nano banana this is what we got as a result again this could be great if you're selling this at the tumblr wrap design but again what i found out with ideogram is this was definitely perfect for a t-shirt again you're just simply utilizing the same prompt obviously we can go in there and make some changes get some different variations but again this is what we gather same prompt same type of thing here again we have the text we have the fish and again the text came out great but not necessarily perfect for t-shirts again that could be the prompt that we use but that's why i want to test this out to see what would these models do with the same type of prompt and going over all the different ai models the best one in my opinion that came out great especially if you're doing things for t-shirts is ideogram i think that could work out perfectly and this would definitely be great on a t-shirt and this could sell right now and just not as a t-shirt side note even as a digital product you can sell this as well so right now i think ideogram did great with this particular prompt all right so let's do one more test here we're going to remove this and we're going to utilize the same prompt again we're going to try the flux 1.1 pro and we're going to see what what we can do again flux does pretty well with text and so i'm really interested to see what we can get as a result all right so this is what we were able to get using flux 1.1 pro again i think that came out extremely well i'm looking at the text here it says follow me and i will make you fisher of man got the text right got the fish and i really like this style here a little bit more better than what we gathered here with ideogram version 3 i think ideogram definitely did a good job but in regards to the entire art style i really like how flux was able to really get a good art style with this design and man i really like how that came out i think this would be great to sell as well perfect for a t-shirt and again this can also do well i think with the other models you might have to go ahead a little bit further and change some things up with the prompt to make it really good for t-shirts but just out of the box prompts that we're using for all models here i definitely like ideogram and i definitely like flux because these are perfect ready to go to sell for t-shirts and again that's what we definitely want to do all right so now we're going to utilize a different prompt and this is also bringing in some text as well very simple text just the word mama this is the whole floral design that we have seen work extremely well on Etsy on multiple occasions so we're going to go ahead and start with this prompt using dolly 3 and we'll see what we're able to get as a result being that this is just a very simple text design with the word mama on it i'm assuming that dolly 3 will get this right i'm looking for the color style just the art style because it's bringing in those type of doodle letters so we'll see what we can gather as a result all right so this is what we were able to gather with dolly 3 here and it has the word mama on it but it didn't get the spelling right it got all of the floor designs worked out well here but again not fitting for a t-shirt got things cut off here but again it did struggle with the word it did create something of a doodle type design style but again that's dolly three for you we'll put it over to the side and we'll see what the other models can do for us with this design prompt so with that being said let's head over to the next one here which will use ideogram version three everything is staying the same we're going to ahead and hit generate and let's see what we can gather as a result all right so nothing changed with our prompt we just simply changed the ai model and you can see again just how truly perfect ideogram is when you're trying to create print on demand products or things that can be easily done for sublimation for like t-shirts sweatshirts coffee mugs and what have you so again that came out well again we know dolly three struggles with text but even just having the flowers right all line up the proper way as it should be for a t-shirt design again it struggled right but when you head over to ideogram again first try first turn that came out extremely well again that's the benefit of having all these models because you can see that just with the prompt that we're using you're going to get some different outputs and again all based upon what you're selling this is great if you're selling maybe a tumblr wrap design because it's doing edge to edge but ideogram is great if you're doing t-shirts as you can see that came out extremely well all right so let's try out the other two models as well we're going to move over to a nano but nano and let's see what we can get again we're not changing anything in the prompt but again we'll just see how that compares right now with ideogram and to see if it carries the same art style carry the same type of lettering and boom that quick it was done i like this a whole lot better than what we gather from ideogram again it definitely bought in those letters at the bottom i love how the flowers are in a very unique way that's something that's unique about this style that i definitely enjoy i think nano banana nailed it in my opinion with this design style definitely will be one that i will look at creating and selling as well all right so that's not a pretty bad result we gathered from that i think that could do extremely well let's run this one more time this time we're going to go 
with Flux 1.1 Pro. Let's just see what we can gather as a result. This was gonna work pretty fast, but let's just see how this compares with Edel Graham, which I really like, and Nano Banana came out great. Here's what we got, again, first time with Flux 1.1 Pro. Again, got the text right, brought in a different type of style, the one that I don't necessarily like because the big bluish type of imagery in the middle here. Again, I would prefer Ideogram and also Nano Banana. Let me know which ones you prefer as well. But again, I think really what took the cake in regards to this prompt, definitely Ideogram, definitely Nano Banana. Could be an easy win, easy sell for you just to quickly get this up and running in your Etsy shop or even selling this as a digital product. That could be great as well. So let's run one more prompt to see See what we were able to get with a different type of design still text-based well let's see how well it does with our next prompt all right so on that see these geese and goose shirts are really popular right now on Etsy. these things are literally everywhere so i definitely got to see if dolly 3 if videogram if nano banana can definitely handle this type of design style and let's just see what we can gather even with it bringing in some text at the bottom really curious to see what we can gather as a result again if you do want to get access to all the prompts simply put in the comment section below the word prompts and i'll make sure to send you over the list of all the prompts we use for today's video you can test this out yourself all right, so let's jump back in to Kittle once again, go into the AI. We're going to remove this prompt and put in this one here. This one is bringing in the type of geese design that we just saw on Etsy with all the geese wearing something festive and some text at the bottom. Again, we'll see which model could you know do well with this type of trending design and which one you should focus on when you are in Kittle. So we'll start off again with Dolly 3. Let's see what Dolly 3 can do as a result with this prompt. All right, so here's what we gather as a result. Dolly 3 struggled for sure. Again, we can go back and make a little bit more text regarding this is a t-shirt, so make sure there's a white background and a blank canvas. I just wanna grab just a prompt and see what each and every one of them can create. And so this is what we gather here. Definitely brought in the geese here, but not the style that we're talking about. Definitely not perfect for a t-shirt. Again, we can go in here and fix the prompt to, to do that better. But again, I just wanna see what we can get with the prompt that has worked well for the t-shirts that I have used and I just wanna see what this can do. So Dolly 3, that's a no-go on that one. Let me know if you like Dolly 3's result. Again, now Dolly 3 is great if you're doing Tumblr wrap designs, that could be perfect, but our aim today is for these print on demand t-shirts and sublimation designs and that's not gonna float our boat. So let's try and head over to Ideogram and let's see, using the license the same prompt, let's see what we can gather as a result using this AI model. All right, so here is what I'm talking about, right? This is the style that we know to do with Shuna Well. Again, I didn't anything with the prompt that's what i mean by utilizing the same prompt with different ai models can get you a totally different outcome and we can see again i didn't change anything with the prompt but you can just see how crazy it is from dolly 3 to the other models here this one specifically with ideogram what you can get as a result and this is more so of the style on etsy that is obviously trending that is obviously selling well and this is definitely where you want to be in regards to this space here creating these type of designs the text came out great at the bottom we can do some things Things about this candy cane being broken but the same art style here is absolutely perfect my humble opinion let me know as well do you like what we got results for so far with ideogram let's head back over to the options here this time we're going to select nano banana and we'll see how that measures up again right now i think ideogram has been really at least the top one top two results that i really enjoy let's see what we can get with nano banana all right so nano banana this is what we gather as a result following the same style we see came out with ideogram again that's why i say man nano banana is pretty good it's hanging on really great with what we see with ideogram the text came out well the art style came out well and i even like how they did a little different with the last goose here bring in the santa theme really heavy here with the goose at the end as opposed to this one here same thing with the gingerbread we see that being done different here and no broken candy cane with the goose here and that is perfect and this one's just hiding in general i like this art style i think this one came out pretty well and my opinion so definitely ideogram nano banana i think came out fantastic and let's try flux as we conclude our video today to see what flux can do as a result we're going to use flux 1.1 again and let's just see how it measures up with nano banana and ideogram with this type of design style all right here's what we got as a result very quick here and this here brought in a good style not necessarily like i said the consistency with what we found on etsy again this is what we 
we're looking at here with this type of design so again that's what we're measuring that with again that's not necessarily following that exactly it could be a different variation could be a different style but i definitely like the styles that we gathered from nano banana and i definitely like the styles we gathered from ideogram and again dolly 3 was definitely not in the picture for our results so let me know down below was this video helpful it's seeing all of the ai models or at least the top four that i think is very helpful with the same prompt were you really shocked at the results of what we gathered from dolly 3 and how we were able to get some really good consistency with ideogram and also nano banana again let me know your thoughts down below and of course if you do want to get access to all of my prompts simply put in the comment section below the word prompts and i'll make sure i send you over this entire list so that you can start utilizing this yourself and remixing this and changing this up and start selling it on etsy now if you do want to get further into how you can sell these i do have an etsy membership community where i share all of my systems and processes of how i'm able to gain daily sales how my students are able to gain sales as well if you want to get access to my etsy private ship community again make sure you check out the link down below and get access to that and also check out kittle if you want to get access to kittle as well as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video